Hey, how's it going guys? This is Alex Nieto here. And I wanted to shoot this video today um, and share, share something with you. I, I know the title you probably read was a little, you're like, ah, what is this? You know, with the, with the title that it's okay to be rich. You know, maybe that word that <laughs> being rich is kind of not rubbing you in the right way. But as you watch this video, I do know that you're going to begin to feel differently about you, about if you open up your mind and you feel you know you allow yourself to be open to new thoughts new ideas new concepts that you're going to feel something shifting inside of you that's going to have you have you look at world the world in a different aspect and just just stay with me that's that's all that's all I'm going to ask just stay to the end of the video you'll understand why the title was titled the way it was on this thing but just to kind of go back this morning I was listening to my, my daily mindset call, the Think and Grow Rich mindset call. Um, you know, great call that I get on every day. I, I, it, we just get together and we discuss on just being better people in the world and just being positive changers, you know, out, out there in the world. And we're going over a, a new book because um, we finished up Think and Grow Rich yesterday. And we went, we're going over a new book by, called The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles. Now, this book here is, is <laughs> pretty deep and very very controversial and pushes your beliefs like tremendously because first time i read this book i've read it about two or three times now the first time i read this book was it it really rubbed me the wrong way with some of the things that he, he was talking about and we were we're in chapter one right now and just what i've learned over my my journey here and in, in um, you know, business and just my journey of life is that being open to new ideas and new concepts is what really progresses you forward in life and, and what grows you as a person. If, if if you're not being challenged and your your beliefs aren't being challenged frequently for you to think about why you believe things the way you believe, because, you know, we, we grow up being programmed in all kind of different aspects of, you know, from our family, our friends, our environment, the, the things that we see around the media. And we just accept things as being true, but never really go back and question if they are. And so we go through life having these beliefs that can be tremendously false, but we rule our lives and, and use that as a guiding mechanism in our entire life to say this is the right way to do things. And so, like I said, what, what I've learned is that you have to be humble all the time and be open to new ideas, new new expressions, new concepts, new perspectives, and new ways, outlooks on, on looking at things. So let's get into what I wanted to talk about. Basically, we're going through chapter one, and, and the thing that he said, this used to rub me the, the wrong way because the word rich just has this negative connotation, you know? in the media everyone thinks being rich is corrupt or you know has something just negative when you feel it just feels something you know weird sometimes and you know that's just a mindset thing because the you know world rich is, is just a word and is only negative because of what we see out there in the media and how people paint the picture and basically in this book they talked about he made a statement that he said it's sinful to not be rich and I don't know maybe you heard that and you're like what and you probably you know just, just stick with me because that's when I first read that that really rubbed me the wrong way like how, what in the world what are you talking about sinful be rich and basically he went on to talk about how when you're rich you can do more in life and basically everything in nature everything out there in the world is increasing and has this thing of what you know God has given us potential that is the gift that he is giving the whole universe is potential full expression of everything to you know if you look at nature you look at everything look at our bodies how it's always growing and moving forward look at nature how it's always growing and moving forward look at the tree the tree grows to its full potential it doesn't grow to half potential it doesn't say i'm going to just grow a little bit you know it everything goes to 
full potential because that is the way the world universe was designed to increase to be to always be increasing and so if we're not fully expressing ourselves and through life and and part of that is our potential our possibilities like being an increaser of life being the most that we can be possibly be because they, they said that you know God's gift to us is potential and our gift back to God is what we do with it and so if we're not out there being the biggest change that we can be we're not we have the capability of doing something and we don't do it we have the ca- capa- you know capacity of being more than w- where we are right now we're being sinful because we're not using the gift of potential that God has given us we're, we're, we're you know we're just sitting still we, we have this ability of saying oh yes I you know I can do that you know or you know I can do this I can do that but we don't do it then what are you doing you're, you're going backwards you're not being an increaser of life and so back to this this statement of you know why it's okay to be rich want to be rich is because when you when you have money I don't know about you but when you have money it frees you up to not worry about money if, if you know the full expressions of, of, of life the three things the mind the body the soul it takes money to get knowledge it takes money to have a healthy body. You know, being healthy and, and, and eating healthy foods is not cheap. And also with the spirit, you know, this might really open your eyes up, but with the spirit, the full expression of spirit is love and giving. And when you don't have anything to give, and I don't know about you, in, in my past relationships and in certain things in my life, when when I was just down, broke to the lowest, my spirit was always broken. You know, you, you have spiritual people in church. You have people who are smart. You have people who, you know, have great bodies, but they're broken inside because <laughs> they're broke, and they're always focused on that. You know, sixty percent of marriages are led because of money because you know you're arguing you're irritable you you always thinking about why you're broke you're, you're 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 not getting the right nutrients in your body you're you know you're not thinking straight all that stuff happens because you're always thinking about this thing called money and once you use your your full potential and expression if you go out and you get money out of the way is an issue then you can actually be go out there like a lot of these you know, people out there that do have abundance and do have wealth, that they're able to to be a bigger change agent in the world to affect the mo- most amount of people. Because if you're broke, you can't you can't touch too many lives. You you, you can you know it takes money to go out and spread a message. It takes money to to help out people. It takes money to you know do great things in the world. And so. If you're not fully using your potential to get out there and make the most of yourself and your your abilities and your talents, then you're being sinful. And you know, you, you might that might not sit well with you, but that's something that I, I had to, to take on myself because if I'm not pushing myself to my full ability that I'm capable of doing and that's something you have to accept. So you have choice. Are you going to be the best that you can be and be an increaser of life, a change agent, someone that is going to go out there and make the biggest difference, the biggest change in the world? Or are you just going to do what, you know, what, what, what nature does best and sit still and allow nature to, just, to get rid of you? Because that's what nature does. When you sit still, you don't do anything, you, you, you go backwards, you stop the increasing in the abundance and in, in the growth that this world works off of, nature finds a way to get rid of it. And, you know, think, think about your body when you don't take care of it. 
your body gets sick and what happens think about your mind when you don't use your mind you lose your mind think about your your soul <laughs> when you're being so bitter so negative sucking people dry and being that person that sucks the room dry of and and makes people you know feel weird around you what happens <laughs> you know you, you're lonely you, 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 you're not having any happiness. You don't you don't feel love. So, really, just all I wanted to to share with you guys was was that that concept. It just was it was pretty deep to me. So, I wanted to uh, you know br- put that out there to you guys. It's it's okay to want to be rich. Just say it. Say it out loud. Feel comfortable with it because it, it, it's okay. Because you can do more in the world. You can do more with your life. When you get that out of the way and you're not thinking about, you know, your bills, you're not thinking about all those things. You can you can give, you can, you know, travel, you can experience life, you can do, you know, the things that, that God has put in you to do. The vision that you have of the world, you can go out there and make it a reality. And so that's all I want to talk about today, guys. If you got any value from this video, like the video and also, just comment below. Let me know what you what's your take on this because I know it's probably going to be controversial. And oh well, I don't care. But it's something that's, that's, that was real deep that I wanted to share, want to put out there, give my value to you guys. And also, if you're out there, you're looking for a change in life. Find out how to get in contact with me on what I'm doing to increase life and to add, you know, increase to the world. By getting money out of the way is an issue. So talk to you later, guys. This is Alex Nieto. All right, guys. Bye.